It's time for us to take you to Taiwan once again as Ed Russell continues to explore the island's famous 900 kilometer cycling route number one. In his second leg, Ed is tested as he attempts an 11 kilometer uphill climb before he arrives at the southern tip of the island, a seaside town called Genting. I'm what you would call a casual cyclist, and with that in mind, well, I need all the help I can get, really. Luckily for me, then, I'm joined by Fang. Fang is a uh, famous cyclist here in Taiwan. He's ridden in all the King of the Mountain races since its inception, and even better, he's from Taidong, so he knows this area like the back of his hand. Fang, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. I hear you've got a challenge for me. Yeah, let me show you the big challenge today. Okay. The road ahead of you is 11 kilometer. Ah. Yes, all up here and very steep. Are you ready? Honestly, I don't think so, but uh, come on, let's give it a go. Oh, okay, come on, let's go. You ride long time. Yeah. Remember, eating and uh, drinking anytime. Eat so it's up and keep your energy up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need the energy. <laughs> I'm pretty exhausted, to be honest. I don't, I don't know how you do it, but uh, you know what? The, the scenery is so nice around here that it's, it's taking my mind off it, momentarily at least. <laughs> Whew, that, that was quite a climb. <laughs> hey, congratulations. You made it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, barely, but yeah. Lifting your bike oh, okay. high up in the air is a custom oh. after completing the hardest part of the route. And what comes next will satisfy most adrenaline junkies. A 20 kilometer ride downhill at an average gradient of 8%. After descending the rugged east coast, I finally arrive at the seaside town of Kenting, a hidden paradise at the southern tip of Taiwan. With sandy beaches and sweeping views of the Pacific Ocean, Kenting is a perfect resting spot after a long and exhilarating bike ride. In the evening, watching the sun set over the ocean is the perfect way to rest those weary legs. On a day like this, well, there's only one way to top it off. After a long, hard day of cycling, I'm absolutely starving. So I've come here to the night market at Kenjing to fill my stomach. And you know what? I've burnt so many calories today that I think I deserve to go a little crazy.